In Hollywood tonight, they're getting ready for the Oscars, and we found one nominee who could not be more ready. Here's ABC's Lisa Fletcher. Meet Kevin O'Connell. Odds are you've never heard of him, but chances are you've heard his work. I think I've worked on about 150, between 150 and 160 films. O'Connell is a sound mixer, one of Hollywood's busiest and best. One. A chorus line. Singular sensation. Broadcast news. Field of dreams. Day. The passion of the Christ. Uh, no. O'Connell blends a movie's dialogue, music, and sound effects together to create what he calls the voice of the film. Often, it's a loud voice. We determine which sound goes to which speaker at what time and for how long. So if you've got a movie about jets flying across the screen, we actually take that sound and move it across the screen. For his sound mixing on Top Gun, O'Connell got an Oscar nomination in 1987. And that wasn't his first. He was nominated in 1983 for Terms of Endearment. And then there was Dune and Silverado. And with his sound mixing nomination for Transformers this year, Kevin O'Connell has been nominated 20 times in 25 years and has never won an Oscar. In his home, he has a wall full of reminders and a heartbreaking pile of undelivered acceptance speeches. But every time, he still gets a thrill. When the Oscar goes to, and I hold my breath for a minute, am I going to hear my name? And then I don't, and I blow out my air, my body temperature comes back down, my heart rate gets back to normal. And O'Connell goes back to work for another year, and usually another nomination. But tonight, when he waits to hear his name, things will be different. His mother, who helped him get his start in the studios, won't be there. She told Good Morning America in 2006 she sure wanted to. I said, win one before I die. And he said, oh, that blows it, Mom, because if I win one and you die, the family will blame me for winning one. So that, that was kind of the end of that. Kevin O'Connell's mother died in his arms last year on the very night of the Oscars. He hopes his odds of winning might be better now. You know, I've had that opportunity uh, 19 times now, and this is my 20th, and, and I hope someday I get the chance to thank her, on, you know, even if she's up there, she'll hear me. Lisa Fletcher, ABC News, Hollywood. We're pulling for him.